we are given the following information. We are given the virtual cost per unit, direct labor hours per unit, units produced, production runs, machine hours per unit. And we, we, we are given the two overhead costs, the machine operating cost and the setup cost. While we are given the information direct labor cost per hour is two dollars. Let's get started. First, we'll be calculating the total cost for the product A and product B. The total cost is composed of direct material cost, direct labor cost, the overhead cost, which are the operating costs, and the setup cost. For product A, let's calculate the direct material cost. So we would be taking the material cost per unit, which is $10 for product A. And we will be multiplying that with the units produced. So which is $5 for product A, so 10 times 5. The total material, direct material cost for product A is $50. Let's calculate the direct material cost for product B. So the material cost per unit for product B is $15. So let's take 15 and multiply that with the units produced for product B, which is 10 units. So 15 times 10. We get a total cost of $150, material, 150 direct material cost for product B. Let's calculate the direct labor cost for product A. In this case, we would be taking the direct labor hours for product A, which is 2, we will be multiplying this with the units produced for product A, which is 5. And we need to further multiply it with the direct labor cost per hour, which is 2. In order to get a total direct labor cost of $20 for product A, for product B, the direct labor cost is, we'll be taking the direct labor hours for product B, which is one. We will be multiplying with the units produced for product B, which is 10. And we will be multiplying with the direct labor cost per hour, which is $2. So 1 times 10 times 2 equals $20. Next, we need to calculate the overhead cost, which is operating cost and setup cost right here for product A and B. Operating, these are the machine operating costs, which are based on the machine hours. First, we need to calculate the total machine hours for the product A and product B. In order to do this, we need to multiply machine hours for product A, which is 1. Multiply with the units produced for product A, which is 5. And we need to add it with the product B's machine hours. So which is um, 2 for Product B is 2 machine hours per unit, so take 2 times multiplied with the units produced of product B, which is 10. In order to get the total machine hours of 25, in order to allocate the operating cost for product A, we need to find out the um, per hour rate for machine hour for the operating cost. In order to, I got a total of $40 per machine hour cost. In order to calculate $40, what I did is, I took the total operating cost of 1,000 and I divided with the total machine hours, 25, in order to get a $40 per machine hour rate. So it will be, take 40, and you multiply it with the machine hours per unit is one for product A. And you further multiply with the units produced is 5. To get a total operating cost of $200 from product A. We'll do the same for product B. 
So we'll take the operating cost 40 multiplied with the two machine hours per unit for product B and further multiply with the units produced for product B which is 10. To get a total operating cost of $800 for product B. Lastly, we need to calculate the setup cost, which is a machine setup cost. The machine setup cost is based on the, on the number of machine setups. We need to get the setup cost per run. According to my calculation, I got a 500 per run cost. This cost was calculated by taking the setup cost of 2000 and you divide it by the total production run runs. Product A run was 1 and product B run was 3, so total was 4. So simply do 2000 divided by 4 gives you 500 per run. So what I would do is take the um, 500 per run which is for product A 500 times 1 will give me a setup cost of 500 and for product B I would take 500 times the production run for product B is 3 so 500 times 3 the total setup cost have been allocated to the two products, product A and product B. If you add the 500 and 1500, it will add up to the 2000. So we know we have properly allocated the $2,000 setup cost to the product A and B. And also you can check the operating cost has been properly allocated because 200 for product A and 800 for product B is a total cost of $1,000 that we were given in the beginning of the question. We, we do know that the total operating cost is $1,000 and it has been properly allocated to product A and B because we add $200 plus $800 gives us $1,000. Now we need to calculate the total cost for product A and product B. Okay, so the total cost is basically the direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus operating cost plus setup cost. So for product A, the total cost is $770, which is simply $50 plus $20 plus $200 plus $500 gives us $770. While for product B, the total cost is $2,470 is simply um, direct material cost of 150 plus direct labor cost of 20 plus direct plus operating cost of $800 plus setup cost of $1,500 gives you a total cost of $2,470 for product B. Lastly, we need, we need to calculate cost per unit. So what we will do is take the total cost for product A and B and you need to divide that with the units produced. To get a cost per unit. So total cost for product A is $770. And we will be dividing with the units produced, which for product A is 5. So cost per unit for product A is 154, uh, 154 per unit. And product B is 2470 divided by 10 units produced for product B and the cost is $247, um, 247 per unit. Um, thanks for watching this video guys. Um, please subscribe to my channel to, to see more videos. Thank you.